Uh, Richard, uh, take me through uh, as far as uh, what, how'd you take over there in the last couple of minutes? I just try to be aggressive for my team, as you know. I like them type of situations for myself to be in, so I like to carry my team on my back. So I just did what I did best and took over. How, uh, how did it feel? 26 points. How do you rate your performance? I always can be play better, you know, no great. I have to play better, you know. I can do better defensively, most importantly. Uh, but you think, you know, you can always play better, but uh, you kind of leave the court with a smile, though, right? Yeah, a win, a win. If I had two points, you know, we got the win, I'd still be happy. So a win is a win, I'd take it. With, uh, yeah, you led most of the night uh, as a team, 60-59, though they got it down with the last four months. How, what kept you maybe from putting the game away as a team? Well, you know, every team going runs, you know, so yeah. they made a good play down the stretch. You know, Chris had a big layup to give us, a, I think, a three-point lead, so we just had to keep our composure. And uh, what are you, you know, eight and three? What do you think about that? That's good. It's, it's yeah. better than three and eight, so it's good. Um, and just kind of lastly, uh, talk about uh, this team persevering, going on from here. It's only up. We want to go up from here. You know, we just got to keep focusing on defense and keep playing hard. Um, well, Coach, just talk a little bit about, first off, just Richard. I mean, is that kind of what you expect from him in the sense of you know, taking over at the end? Yeah, you know, Richard doesn't need to lead us in scoring every night. And I think he did, is doing a much better job picking and choosing his spots, becoming uh, a distributor to help us uh, make others better. But there's certainly times that we want him aggressive and looking to score. He, he got it going a little bit tonight early with some open looks from three. But when you look down at his stat line, I want to be able to see, you know, 10 free throws along with 13 field goal attempts. And so he, he mixed it up correctly. You know, we don't want to just continue to settle for jumpers and not specifically talking about him, but, but as a team, you know. So, you know, we want to try to get to the free throw line 10 times or more or half. We got 19 f for the game tonight. So that's close. How about your team as far as led most of the way, but it got tied at the end? Uh, what kept them maybe from putting away, and what's it say for them to kind of I think they're all? a pretty good team. They were in the NCAA tournament last year. That's a good basketball team. O uh, older veteran group, two Iowa kids coming back home. Um, big boy Puck had a heck of a night. I mean, he's a guy averaging five points a game coming in and, um, you know, really got it going, and we had a tough time. We're going to double Rowley. We we're going to double him. Um, and so that caused some, confu not confusion, just he did. He had a heck of a night. A credit to him, take my hat off to him. I mean, he, he got it going, shooting the basketball. And, you know, when the, a five man could pick and pop and face up, it's, it's a hard guard for your fives. Just they're not used to that. They're used to getting ducked in and things at the bucket. And, Guys picking and popping to 15 feet or it's a little bit different to guard.